Okay, so this is a mid-sagittal view of the upper respiratory system. Before we get to the actual respiratory system itself, we have a couple of structures up here. Frontal sinus and sphenoidal sinus. These both drain into the nasal cavity. Okay, but when we take air in, we can come in a couple paths. We can come in an upper route or we can come in a more inferior route. The way that we're supposed to breathe is through our nose. So we, air comes through our external nares into the nasal vestibule. Air then goes into the nasal cavity. In this nasal cavity, we've got different bones. Superior, middle, and inferior nasal concha. And underneath each of these, we have a superior, middle, and inferior meatus. So air swirls around here. It's very vascular, so the air warms itself. It humidifies. The mucous membrane here kind of traps any dust and debris that's flying around. But we go from the external nares to the internal nares. In this region right here, you'll also see the opening to the auditory tube. We go all the way down towards the posterior side, and we come into three different sections. There's a nasopharynx, an oropharynx, and a laryngopharynx. Nasopharynx, back of the nasal cavity. Oropharynx, back of the oral cavity. Laryngopharynx, back of the larynx, or your voice box. So as we come by here, we're going to pass the adenoid or the pharyngeal tonsil. Come all the way back here, air flows down. Air can also come through the mouth, passes the orbicularis oris muscle. This is the, what makes up your lips. Pass the teeth into the oral cavity. This is our hard palate right here, made up of the maxilla and the palatine bone. Posterior to that, we have the soft palate, which is muscular tissue, and at the back of that we have the uvula. That's that little punching bag that hangs down at the back of your throat. Pass over the tongue. At the back of the tongue, think of your tongue as language, linguistics. We have the lingual tonsil back here. At the back of the palate, we have the palatine tonsil, and air continue all the way down, okay? Muscles that we have here under the tongue, there's a fibrous septum, then there's the genioglossus, the geniohyoid, and the mylohyoid, which connect to the hyoid bone. This is the hyoid bone, this is the thyroid cartilage. So we take this off. You can still see the thyroid cartilage here. And then this, is what leads down our windpipe or our trachea. Covering that is the epiglottis. So in the swallowing reflex, as the uvula moves up, the tongue pushes up and the epiglottis folds down, directing food, saliva, liquid to the back of the throat. As we go underneath this epiglottis, the region of the glottis is here. This is curricoid cartilage. It's the only, only cartilaginous ring that goes all the way around. And then we see the tracheocartilage that lead the rest of the way down.